Hey everybody, so on this job we were hired to do a stained concrete floor, so the guy wanted us to stain it and seal it. And this is in his basement, it's probably like six or seven hundred square feet. And as you can see, the floor was power trialed really, really smooth. It was very dense, it was very hard, but it was also pretty dirty. So it, the cool thing about it was it didn't really have any cracks or chips or divots, didn't really have any repair we had to do, so we basically just had to get it cleaned, open up the pores so it would accept the stain and the sealer. Now what we're doing is we're using our walk behind floor grounder. This is a 20 inch machine. We got some diamond polishing pads on it and we're just going over the surface and you can see how it's kind of cleaning where, where Luke's hit and where he hasn't hit. You can see the, the difference. It's quite a difference as far as it cleaning. And when the guys who power trial this they they left what it looks like is they left some uh, when you power trial something really really hard and it's in the sun you get these kind of like these this striping these these darker and lighter areas I call it kind of like tiger striping and when you stain a floor that has this it actually gives you a really cool look at the end you're gonna see what this looks like at the end and I want you to let me know if you if you like how it looks or if you don't I personally like how it looks when it has this this real big variation in, in uh, shadowing if you want to call it that I think it looks really cool when you stain it but it's it's quite a little process to get it stained you know it's not a matter of just all right let's come in here and wash it spray some stain color on it and seal it it's it is a little bit of a process to do it and do it right so it's good it's durable it lasts a long time and it's pretty maintenance free and you know the first part of it is is getting it clean like we were with the with the floor polisher grinder machine right there and there's other ways to clean it too um, and I'll let you know at the end of the video how to figure that out but and then we use our vacuum our we got those big HEPA vacuums that we use for all kinds of other things and we're, now we're getting it clean we want to get make sure we don't leave any dust left behind because we want to be able to just stain it like we are right here let it dry and then come right back over it and seal it. Now we're using an acetone based stain so it's actually like a dye, an acetone dye. You can get this exact same stain in a water based solution that would do the exact same thing. It just doesn't dry quite as fast so you know when we're on a job that the acetone dye, the water based dyes and stains they all penetrate down into the concrete somewhat and then they got to be sealed so they don't wear off but they all work good it's just a matter of you know drying times um, in a basement like this I would definitely recommend probably if you if you're a DIYer probably the water-based one where we're real experienced at this you know the acetone ones obviously give off some fumes so you got to be real careful working with them inside make sure everything's ventilated really really good which we have a lot of good ventilation here because there were some windows down here and we got some fans in the windows um, but the water-based stain ones are much safer to work with much probably even much easier to work with there's some there's some things here with the acetone stuff that you that can go wrong if you don't know what you're doing but you can see how Darren's just spraying that color on there and how the color is actually enhancing the the underlying look of the concrete it's it's darkening up the, the darker spots and it's actually bringing out the lighter spots which is kind of a cool look is kind of what they were looking for this room was really really bright it was mostly white so they wanted to add a little bit of darker color to the floor and they like this like leather tannish kind of color so this was exactly what they were looking for here now you can with with these stains you know you can go over it this is the first pass if you don't really like the coverage on the first pass after it dries you can just go right back out go over it again you could go over it with a different color in different spots and you know highlight different tones if you wanted to this was basically the color they were looking for so now what I'm doing now is I've got uh, I'm using a water-based sealer in here and I'm just spraying this on that white is what the sealer looks like when it's wet and then it dries to a nice clear look so the sealer it's gonna darken it here at first but as it as it dries up it's gonna it's gonna you know lighten up a little bit it may end up 
darkening the whole floor a little bit when you're all done but we go over the floor with this water-based sealer two or three times and get two or three good coats on and then to protect that you can go over it with a floor finish kind of like a wax if you want to and that'll help maintain the sealer a little bit easier but this is the basic process now I got in my in my training membership program the concrete underground you know I got all the steps broken down in there I got the products we use um, the different ways to clean this if you don't have access to one of those floor polishers like we do there's a there's a few other things we can do to get the floor up here if you're a DIYer and you want to try this on your own um, so make sure you check out the link to the concrete underground down below if you want to learn how to do this that would be the best place to go I got a, a training video just that's the same job where I go into more depth on how we do it and what we use you can see I'm just the pump up sprayer works good gives it a, a nice even coat for the sealer on there but that's that's how this uh, stained floor comes to life right there now we don't typically do anything to the saw joints you could you could uh, caulk them after you could grout them you could grout them in advance if you wanted to and then just stain that too but typically for most people in a basement like this like he was turning this into an office area the 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 saw joints aren't going to really matter if you fill them or not they're not going to get that dirty and if if they do have a little bit of dust in them when you vacuum it's going to take them right out um it just kind of actually it kind of adds to the look of the floor you could actually saw a pattern in this floor you know some diamond tiles two by two or four by four that would kind of look kind of cool too if you wanted to you can see how we got the walls all nice and protected that's really key when you're staining you want to make sure you run that poly up the walls tape off the baseboard if the baseboard's on there because the stain gets everywhere <laughs> um you can see the windows that were in here plus there was a couple other um, access doors on this opposite side that we could just push some fresh air right through this whole room that kept the fumes way way down almost to nothing really the water base stain the water base sealer really doesn't have any fumes the acetone dye has a, a few fumes to it but I'm going to show you right here in a second so this was the finished look you can see how nice that looked it had a nice matte finish um, came out looking really really cool really a lot of antiquing like look to it so you let me down in the comments do you like the floor how it looks now do you think it looks kind of cool do you think it looks ugly let me know down in the comments uh, the before picture was really you know the concrete was in pretty ugly looking shape it was pretty dirty and the, the trial marks really didn't add anything to the look see there when it was before and then afterwards, you know, it, it really, those trial mocks really did help bring out a really unique type of looking floor. So let me know what you think down in the comments. Thanks again for watching, guys. We'll see you on the next one.